Right, one random PS5 board. Not a clue what's wrong. Haven't looked at it. Got liquid metal everywhere, of course it has. They always have. Uh, yeah, not a clue what's wrong. I haven't looked at it. Um, could be absolutely anything. I know there's liquid metal on it, but that's just because of the way it's been packaged. It hasn't been packaged safely. Right, well, it was packaged safely, but it's just nothing was covering the liquid metal. I am hoping that the liquid metal hasn't gone under the APU because it's fairly freaking close. All right. Now I've just got to inspect the corner here and make sure there's no actual liquid metal. Let's have a nose, shall we? So, ah, oh, there is a little bit, look. There's a tiny bit there. There's none under the APU, though. Aside from that teeny tiny bit, which I should be able to get to and clean off. Right. I think I got to it. Nice. Oh, look, a nice dry spot. Of course it is. It's a PS5. It wouldn't be a PS5 without a dry spot on the liquid metal, would it? Right, let's have a look at what kind of current's being drawn. I'll just check my boot sequence. Haha! -ha. Well, that's going to be an easy one. It's a triple beep of death. It's a corrupted BIOS. <laughs> Look. Well, that's not exactly hard, is it? Because guess what? We've got to replace the damn BIOS anyway because it's a disk edition. It's got to be converted to digital. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. Whether you've got a simple project that requires a quick mod board or you want to launch your own products to the world, PCBWay can help. With fantastic pricing on multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, 3D printing and even laser cutting solutions, you're sure to get everything you need all in one place. Custom PCBs start from just $5 for a 1-2 to two layer board with a fast 24 hour build time and free shipping on orders over $30. PCBWay are also proud to announce their new aluminium PCBs which start at just $120 per square metre. Check out what PCB we have to offer by clicking on the link in the video description or the top pin comment and get your project started today. Thanks again to PCB way for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the repair. Right, just to show you. So if I put this onto a housing. I don't need the heat sink. If I just apply power, yeah, and then we can't turn it on. Yep. Let me get my BIOS reader, and I shall program a new BIOS. Actually, one thing I want to do before I do that. Before I do that, I want to see if there's a UART code for this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up UART. Just see if there's a UART code for it because if there is, I can log it. Not that we really need UART to actually fix this issue because I already know what's wrong with it. Just based on getting that triple beep, I know what's wrong with it, but it would be nice to see if there's a UART code. Or rather, it would be nice to see if there's a UART code associated with it. There we go. Connector up. Uh, 
Right, I'm going to clear my error codes, and then I'm going to apply power again. So I'll unplug it. Plug it back in. Interesting. Interesting. I don't get an error log now. Oh, sorry, I don't get a triple beep now. Right, okay. Well, I've cleared the error log, and now it's not doing anything. Uh, it's still going to be a corrupted BIOS, but I guess because I've cleared the logs from the BIOS, or rather I assume they, come, uh, they get stored on the BIOS, uh, because I've cleared the, the logs, it's not actually going to give me that triple beep anymore. Interesting. Okay, well, that sucks. <laughs> That sucks. I can replicate that at another time. I've I've got a I've got a BIOS file with a corruption uh, triple beat BIOS file. And I can replicate that one for the error logs. For you what I mean. That was rather strange. Uh never mind. Right. Let's just get this board out. Same one from last night. No, this is a random board. And I've just picked out of my pile. This has got a corrupted BIOS, so we're going to program a new one. I've got to program a new one anyway because, well, it's a disk edition and I've got to convert this to digital edition because I don't have the board for it, as in the daughter board. So either way, I would have had to do this no matter what. So, win-win. Basically, free board. Well, not free, but... It cost me like what thirty quid, forty quid <laughs> for a PS Five digital board. Um, so I'm going to take, I'm going to take the BIOS just because I want to get the serial number off, so as I can register it with the correct serial. Not that it's needed, but should be able to read the serial number on this. So I might as well program it with the correct serial. go Let's pop this into here there we go and my little socket it goes neo programmer detects there it is and we are gonna read the IC Come on. Bink. Right, let's save that. I'll save it as desktop. Why not? <laughs> I don't know why I said why I saved it as that, but hey. Uh, from main hard drive, desktop. No modifier. Open. Right, so there's the original serial to this console. So I am gonna open another no dump. Doesn't matter which one. Ten sixteen A digital. Paste. Ah, oh, damn it. I pressed the wrong thing. I pressed the wrong button. Right.
didn't save properly. Now we should save. Ten sixteen A digital edition. Yep, that will do. Good. So let's open that up. Like that, I see. Should take about twelve seconds. Uh, maybe a bit more than 12 seconds. That's what she said. <laughs> Boop. 29 seconds. Cool. Make it easier for myself by grabbing it in the right orientation that I need it. There it is. So I make it easier for myself. I'm not used to grabbing chips with my left hand, so it still wasn't. But yeah, 30 seconds. 30 seconds to program a board or program a chip. It's not bad. It's only a 2 megabyte chip, though. Uh, a little bit of dry liquid metal. I'll take care of that in a second. There we go. Good. Right, need to do a couple more things. First and foremost. Let's take this speaker off. Because I want to remove the two connectors, the disk drive connector, uh, the disk drive ribbon connector and the disk drive power connector. I remove those because I'm converting it to digital. And it won't fit in the disk edition case. It won't fit in a digital edition case if those connectors are there. So I remove those connectors, but to remove the connectors I need to remove the speaker because I don't want to remove them from the other side of the board and melt them. I'd rather just desolder the speaker part uh, temporarily and then resolder it back on when it's uh, when it's done. So there's that, and then I'm going to remove two connectors. We have. this one here so I can heat up from the other side of the board now that the speaker's out of the way There's that one, and then we've got one more. Destroy power connector.
Just like that. Right. Now time to put the speaker back on. I'll add a tad of flux in a second. I don't want to add too much flux because if I do that, the flux will get inside the speaker and it'll affect the sound. It'll probably affect the sound anyway, but I don't want to affect it too much. So I'll add the teeniest, tiniest bit of flux. Just to make sure we don't get any dry and oxidised joints on the solder. And that is it. And that flux won't hurt it. So I'm not going to use IPA to clean it, I'll just brush it away. Like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to wreck the speaker. Job done. One converted from disc to digital, just to allow it to update. Oh, the connector's missing for the um, SSD. They've salvaged it. Well, I ain't putting that on tonight, and I ain't going SSD to test it anyway. But damn, doesn't want to bite at all. Well, yeah, it's got it now, but <laughs> the SSD connector's been salvaged. You bastard. What a mofo. Anyway, there you go. She's working. Ha! Ooh, it's two second blood. Well, three or four second blood. So it was a triple beep of death, and now it's blood. Ha! Huh, I thought that was overeating, but evidently not. All right, well, I ain't working on that tonight, because it's 2.35am. I guess I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's a bit poop, isn't it? Never mind. All right, it's been fun, as always. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. Take it easy, take care, and good night.